Hey everybody, we're going to just do a couple things here with the step FX. By now, if you're watching this, you probably have already messed with this or watched some other videos about this. So what I want to do instead of going through every little detail how this works, just want to tell you my three favorite things about it. Now, the first thing is, well, two of the three things have to do down here with our step modulator and it's just really thoughtful on how this works so the first thing is that it's going to cycle through you can see the colors changing here well not right now you can't because it's already going through but it's going to really consistently or constantly cycle through all of your steps when you're not in the play mode with the transport of logic so i can push a key And now I have all, well, let's see, I have all of the steps actually going right now. So all 128. Just start it over. It's going to go all the way through all of them. Again, most of them are turned down except for at the end. Once you push play on the transport, what happens is, is that it finds its place. So it doesn't just start at the beginning. It'll go through all 128 steps, which is 16 bars. And then on 17, it starts back over. So if I start it here, let's push play. And then it starts over on bar 17. So I can start it anywhere in my timeline. And it's always going to find the exact right place here down the step modulator. So that piece is pretty cool once you understand that even if it's cycling whenever you're playing it and it starts middle of the sequence, keep in mind that you need to work it with the transport of logic itself. So that's number one. Number two... And let's actually cycle this down just to one bar here. Is that we can go through and set two of these to the exact same thing. So two of them to the filter cutoff. Let's push play and cycle this on the transport. Now we're doing just a little bit, but think of that with the second one here being 128 and the other one being just 16. We can do all kinds of combinations here. And create really interesting patterns playing rhythms off of each other. Really cool how we can assign these, each of these to the same thing if you want to, or all separate ones. You can actually see right here, the interplay of that. Now the last thing really is more of a logic overall ecosystem thing. But what we can do, because we just have the three step modulators, but we can use the other MIDI effect the modulator for this to control other parameters. So right here, we can learn any plugin parameter and I actually clicked on this and did the resonator here to get that. Let's turn on the power. You can see that there's this uh, sample and hold type random pattern that I have the smoothing turned on So let me turn off all the other step modulators here. So just another layer of control. And so we could, if we wanted to, 
Let's add another modulator. Let's learn another plugin parameter. And for this one, we could do something like the feedback or the delay or the dirt parameter here. Turn everything on. So we can put all of these things together, multiple modulators here, the step modulators here, all controlling a variety of parameters out here on the step effects. Okay, so those are the three things that I really enjoyed figuring out on this plugin. Hope you learned a little bit from this, and I will talk to you later.